it's been a life a lifelong project starting very young with bicycles and then working through to mopeds to motorbikes to building my own things and repairing my own things then I thought well I want to run a vegetable oil vehicle and then a friend of mine came up and said well it's an old car I've got in the field you could out for 250 pounds it's uh, he called it the Muppet Mobile he said you'll love it Buzz do you want it because he knew I liked making things and he knew I'd made cars in the past and he knew I loved junk so I saw the car fell in love bought it for 250 pounds but it needed quite a lot of work and it had an old petrol engine and it was running a Ford Pinto petrol engine and it drunk lots of fuel so I got the thing going it had diabolical electrical problems sorted that out got the thing going and then ever since then I started customizing it the Womble truck then could run straight vegetable oil and obviously biodiesel so we were starting it up on biodiesel on one tank then shifting over straight to waste vegetable oil which I was collecting so more or less it was free motoring. Then I heard about ranges of different fuels, different ideas, what was known as free energy. Then I started meeting other bearded men and thinking, I'm not alone! <laughs> the chip oil is readily available, but it's a start. It's step one on a ladder. As this is the long continuous story, is leading me now to electric cars, producing electricity, which you can make from light, you can make from water, you can make from the wind, obviously, and you can make it at home, so you can put it in your car. Everybody can have an electric car, but this is only the beginning story of us getting off fossil fuel. But the strange thing about it is we're going to blossom, the planet will blossom, because we will be open to the energy of the planet, which is kinetic, it's a moving ball. It's just big business has got to go, greed has got to go, it's just science, energy and some truth which would be lovely to see on our planet before I die and my daughter and for having a future and I think you know, we're not stupid creatures, well we are behaving stupidly but we, are, we could behave really intelligently.